your compiler file. Okay, I uh, just want to welcome everybody to the call. This is the milestone one review of uh, GrowFi's UDT swap uh, grant funded project. Uh, from the GrowFi side, we have Mike and Brian here, and from the Nervos Foundation, myself, Matt, and Tanner as well. So I'll turn it over to Brian now to present UDT swap. Yep. Okay, hello everyone. So I am happy to announce the Nervous Grants Review today. And the two people will be present today, Mike and Brian, who are, who are in charge of UDT swap design. Uh, uh, first, I will explain the feature of Nervous and how Nervous will affect <coughs> affect the DeFi ecosystem. Uh, and I will introduce the basic model and the architecture for UDT swap. So, uh, nervous is awesome, but why is it awesome? Uh, the advantage of nervous are uh, decentralization and the security. Nervous is using POW consensus algorithm. Nervous uses an NC Max, which is upgraded to Nakamoto consensus used in Bitcoin. Uh, through this, uh, nervous eliminated the bottleneck of the block propagation uh, and improved the TPS. Uh, today, the Nervous Network has seen a significant increase in security as hash rate is growing rapidly. Uh, in the layer architecture model, layer one is responsible uh, for decentralization and security. Uh, it also helps uh, layer two on-chain asset and depths that require security to operate safe, safely. Uh, layer two is uh, responsible for scalability and uh, performance uh, ori uh, oriented depths uh, can provide pro performance to users. Uh, layer one and layer two uh, interoperability can solve blockchain trademark pro problems. Uh, third, uh, the cell model uh, realized the, the decentralization of the state of the smart contract by minimizing the risk of the smart contract uh, while taking advantage of the Bitcoin UTXO model. Uh, the cell model is the core model of nervous SKB uh, store for value and the layer architecture. Yeah. Uh, so UT swap is a nervous based uh, DeFi protocol and uh, has done a lot of research on the Ethereum DeFi ecosystem. Uh, recently, BZX uh, attacks and the DeFi's hacking incidents uh, occurred in the DeFi ecosystem. Uh, the former and the later are completely uh, different type of attacks, uh, but both rely on smart contracts. Uh, what are the advantage of the DeFi protocol when running on nervous? Uh, so at the time of Black Thursday, DeFi protocol had uh, unpredictable transition fees due to uh, Ethereum network uh, uh, par uh, paralysis. Uh, users have had great difficulties in sending transactions. Uh, Nervous has a huge, huge merit for transition fees. Uh, Nervous adopts um, off-chain or calculation and on-chain verification method. Also, you can send transactions if the rules are met. Uh, this, uh, this means that you know the state change or from before the transition occurs. Uh, and you can uh, accurately uh, know the fees uh, consumed by transaction. User can just set Guess high when nervous network is congested and the transitions is proceed by minor. Uh, issues that cannot be update, uh, updated after the smart contract is deployed in Ethereum will place great uh, responsibility on the blockchain developer. Uh, DeFi, DeFi protocols that have been rela released so far are made of smart contracts. Uh, so once the damage is done, uh, it cannot be 
reserved forever. Uh, DeFi protocols with minimal third-party trust costs are later uh, contradictory. So the dependency on smart contracts is too high. Uh, result, resulting in higher tr trust costs, however, CKB script uh, can be created with some ways like type ID. The type ID allows the developer to update the script at the, any time. Uh, this can uh, significantly reduce the dependency on smart contracts. Uh, uh, third, uh, token, uh, tokens are the key in the asset area of the DeFi ecosystem. Uh, they are risked risk because the transition and the status of ES20 token are subject to contracts. Uh, UDTs are uh, similar nervous ES20 token. In the cases of uh, UDT, the owner tokens are stored in LIBOR cell and protect uh, by the owner lock. Uh, ownership of, of the asset is allows, uh, always uh, owned by uh, owner, and it can effectively uh, control the risk of the asset by lowering its dependency on smart contracts. Okay. Uh, the DeFi ecosystem is growing, and as the value and the number of users are growing day by day. In addition, uh, interoperable applications using DeFi protocol have uh, over overlap the layers, uh, which is referred to as the DeFi Lego. Uh, as the DeFi ecosystem has grown, uh, the number of uh, attack cases in, uh, is increasing, and the attack type are also uh, diversifying. Uh, building the robust, uh, building the robust uh, DeFi level is not something you can solve by simply uh, purging a uh, high scalability. Uh, the key is whether you can safely hold your asset. Uh, as long as the on-chain is stable, the DeFi ecosystem will have the potential to grow. Uh, this allow users uh, to experience a financial service that do not require trust. Uh, Nervous is a layer one for creating a, a robust DeFi Lego and a layer one for future DeFi protocols. Yeah. So UT swap is a, um, an automated exchange protocol using multiple equity pool economy. Uh, UT swap is a decentralized exchange that replace order book with an uh, unchain liquidity pool. Uh, any liquidity pool can be created. In addition, existing automated market maker protocol or uh, protocols can set a uh, base currency and create a token pair. Uh, but there is no limit to the base currency in UDT swap. Uh, when liquidity is uh, added to the liquidity pool, the price is automatic automatically formed uh, through the uh, constant pro uh, product market maker mechanism. Um, liquidity pool provider will earn transition fee uh, incurred in the uh, corresponding token pair swap. Yes. So at Unity Swap, anyone can list the tokens, and the UT as well as the CKB can be listed as a reserve currency. Uh, for example, you can make a uh, BTC CKB pair that is a CKB based currency, but you can also create a USDT uh, BTC pair uh, as the BTC basis currency. Uh, unlike, uh, unlike traditional decentralized exchange using uh, auto, uh, AAM model, uh, which operates uh, operate as a sing, single liquidity pool, uh, UT swap supports multiple pool. For example, there, uh, there can be multiple liquidity pool in CKB USDT token pair. Uh, so example, CKB USDT pool, pool A, pool B, pool C. So uh, there, uh, uh, there are different prices uh, 
or give different liquidity profile. Also, uh, also one uh, the multiple poles or uh, the advantage uh, the first also one like a live cell per liquidity pool uh, uh, if a user uh, tries to add remove a swap from the pool which is in use by another user uh, other user um, will not uh, be about to use the pool until the status is updated uh, UT swap supports uh, multiple posts, uh, so this can cause uh, poor occupancy issues. Uh, a second, uh, in the existing AM swap model, uh, a single pole can provide programs uh, for token economy by first providing an uh, abnormal proportion of the uh, of liquidity pool. Uh, UT swap can create a new liquidity pool and provide a good trading uh, environment for users through normal token exchange rate. Yes, uh, third, um, the price and the liquidity pool size are different to each liquidity pool. Uh, users can make financial transitions to stabilize the price of the token pair and the incentives are provided to liquidity provider. So uh, as, uh, as the neural step and layer two ecosystem grows, uh, token swap will occur uh, frequently. Uh, UET swap provides uh, a cooperative uh, space to grow together with that business logic by supporting that integration. Okay, uh, in this milestone, we, ha we have open source UET swap TypeScript, UET swap liquidity, liquidity, and UET TypeScript, and the uh, rock script. Uh, and there is a picture on our GitHub that shows how UET swap works. Uh, so Oh, so can, can you watch? Can you watch this? Uh, this is the job. Yeah, so this is the YouTube uh, YouTube swap block script. Um, uh, first count group input cells. Uh, then for our input index can be uh, di divided by three. Uh, check if cells have UT swap type script. Uh, after that, check for uh, three continu continuous uh, cells having some uh, UT swap rock script hash. Uh, that's all for rock script. Uh, uh, this is uh, liquidity, uh, liquidity UDT type script. Mm. Uh, first, check if the first input cells uh, lock script hash is the same as the owner mode uh, lock script hash of a current uh, UT swap liquidity UET type script. Uh, then sums or input and output amount of UT swap liquidity UDT. Uh, if it's owner owner mode, then there can be adding liquidity or removing liquidity situation. Uh, check for this uh, by comparing uh, total liquidity input, total liquidity output, input amount sum, output output amount sum, uh, or if it's not owner mode, owner mode. Uh, or if it's not owner mode, uh, then input amount sum should be same as output amount sum. Uh, then our liquidity UET type script checks are finished. Yeah. Global type script. Oh, this is the last uh, type script. Uh, 
So first it checks if this transition is a creating pool and if not count group input cells and the output cells. Uh, then checks for type script or raw script, uh, first the UDT and the second the UDT TypeScript um, and compares amount of the UDT's rock, rock up. Um, after that, check checks for swap, uh, uh, adding liquidity, removing liquidity, depending on the change of uh, total liquidity. Uh, and finally, checks uh, for protection fee uh, because of a shared state. Uh, swapping can be done with multiple posts in one transaction, but adding or removing liquidity cannot be done with multiple posts in, on, in one transaction. Yes, this is uh, UT swap uh, the flow chart. Yes, yes. Uh, so thank, uh, uh, thanks, uh, thank you to nervous community members. This is uh, our introduction of UT swap. If you have uh, any question about UT swap, please feel free to ask. Yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gai. Uh, Tanner, do you have any questions from your side? Yeah, so my first one is, uh, so you have these, these many diagrams of the logic <clears throat> uh, representing the different scripts and the verif in verification, but I'm wondering if you can explain the actual schema of the various cells uh, that are involved in these transactions. So for example, what is a so for example if you what is a pool and what uh, like like how is it represented on chain and then uh, the arguments passed to that script and what the meaning what their meanings are that type of thing uh, <coughs> hello uh, uh, is your question that uh, what our TypeScript has in arguments and what's the data and what's the cell structure and so on? Is this your yeah. question? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, first, uh, our TypeScript, uh, TypeScript has arguments of one thing. <clears throat> This is the uh, uh, serialized first input of pool creating transi uh, transaction. This will uh, act like the unique uh, uh, unique index of the pool, and the pool will be uh, identified by these arguments, and we will use this all script says uh, type ID, so the hash type will be type. And the data will have three things. Uh, first one is total liquidity uh, amount of liquidity unity. So this means that uh, all li uh, liquidity change as the unit T. So it, it's same as the uh, total amount of this pool's liquidity. And second thing is first UDT is amount locked. And third one is second UDT's locked amount. Uh, this is of all the TypeScript of our uh, UDT swap. And second one is lock, uh, lock script. The lock script ha will have uh, two arguments. First one is first UDT type script hash. And second one is second UDT type script hash. So this lock script will identify uh, the token pairs, first and second tokens. And this is type ID too. 
So the hash type will be Thai. Mm -hmm. And third one is the last one. And this is liquidity utility. This liquidity utility means uh, if you add a liquidity to some pool, then the amount will be changed as some utility. And this utility means that you have a percentage of liquidity in some pool. So you can use this utility when removing liquidity. And this script will have arguments as uh, tools, uh, utility swap, lock script hash, above these things all hash. And this will uh, identify if uh, cor uh, current transaction is owner mode or not. This owner mode means uh, when adding liquidity and removing liquidity, the UDT will uh, mint the UDT or bond the UDT. So only in adding or removing liquidity, there can be owner, I uh, should be owner mode. And this will identify this. And also this should uh, match with uh, pools type script. So we need unity to uh, unity swap uh, TypeScript arguments. This means the serialized first in input above this. So uh, and this <clears throat> this liquidity unity script is also type ID. So the hash type will be type. That's all for the script, yes. Okay, and what, so a liquidity pool then is represented by a single cell, so a single cell for each liquidity pool. Yes, liquid, uh, TypeScript uh, has three data types and they all represent, yes. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Um, my next question yes. is, uh, do you have any generator code available uh, oh, to, to test this out alongside the actual scripts? Ah, you mean, uh, is there any deployed script? Is there any uh, code that allows people to interact and test with these scripts? Oh uh, yes, currently is uh, all three scripts are deployed in testnet and we are testing right now and if the uh, UI and some more is ready, then users can test and yes. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, those were my biggest questions. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, do we have any more questions? No, no. Uh, we have no questions right now. Thanks. Okay. Um, I think with, with that, we can uh, wrap it up. Um, yeah, I really want to thank the GrowFi team for joining in a great presentation and Tanner taking the time to review things. And um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll take it to Discord from here. So um, yeah, thank you, everybody. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.